Welcome back to the AT Shack. Man, winter has hit and it's hit hard. Let me give you a quick look on what's going on outside. Yeah, I know. It's bad. So I've been stuck inside and with some of my free time, I went surfing the internet and I managed to find myself a whole new camping setup for the 2023 riding season for under $200. It's just the basics, but it's gonna work perfectly. So what I learned from this year's riding season, my moto camping setup is just way too bulky. I have both of my large tusk panniers filled and I have to carry an extra duffel bag across the top here. This big ass thing. So you may ask, what's taking up so much space? Well, I had two items that take up way too much space. My old Coleman sleeping bag that I had for years. I figured I might as well just use this, save some bucks, and not buy another sleeping bag. But it just takes up way too much space. And this self-inflating sleeping pad, which worked fantastic. The only problem, it will not fit in the pannier horizontally or vertically. So I was stuck with somehow mounting it outside of those panniers in that bag. Very comfortable, but just not practical. So this year, I managed to find new sleeping bag, new pad, a camping chair, and a tent that will fit in one side pannier. The Tusk Large Box is a 37 liter box, 15 and a half inches tall, nine and a half inches deep, and 16 and a quarter inches wide. Just to give you an idea on how big this box is. So let's see how all this fits in here and I'm gonna go over each item separately and the cost of everything. So how do I pack the box? Up first, we have the camping tent coming in at 5.64 pounds. That sits nice and flush on the bottom. Camping chair coming in at two pounds. Off to the side. Sleeping pad coming in at 1.32 pounds. Sleeping bag coming in at 3.5 pounds. And a pillow coming in at just over half a pound, which I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video. Yes, it's a tight fit, but it works. Total weight, 13.14 pounds. Let's take these back out. We'll just take a look at these really quick. Wise Owl Pillow. What I didn't realize when I was buying this online, it comes in a medium and a small, and I ordered the medium. That's okay. I mean, I don't want to skip on comfort when it comes to sleeping, especially on a moto trip. I need a good night's rest. This ran me $29.95. I did buy this on Amazon. I'll put affiliate links down below to each product. Now, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I didn't get any of these products for free. This is all out of pocket cost. The snoozy. Feels pretty nice, it's, it's memory foam in here. Not bad. Up next, the Power Leak sleeping bag. This is an inflatable sleeping bag. $40.99 off Amazon. This is just a, a band around there. Now it does have some kind of inflating system. Oh, whoa, it's quite large. So what you do, I've seen videos of this, I believe you plug this in here and then put this bag in like so. And to inflate it, you fill this bag up with air and then roll it up and that will inflate the pad. It's gonna take a minute. Well, there it is. It only took about, I don't know, three, four minutes. Really nice, that inflation system. Better than huffing and puffing this thing up. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna be trying any of this out, so this is just kind of a show and tell video. But if you wanna see this in action, I will be going camping this spring, so make sure to subscribe to the channel, and videos will be up very shortly. The Moonlance camping chair coming at $28.79 off Amazon. I did open this prior to the video because I was really curious on how this thing comes together. And what I found 
is that it's much easier to put together than to take apart. Boom, so there's the base of the chair. And here's the actual piece that you sit on. Just connect these like so. And there it is. Not a huge necessity for camping, but you're gonna want one if there's no place to sit. It shows 400 pound limit on this thing. I'm 200 pounds and I don't know, I, if I weighed much more, I really wanna be sitting on this. But overall, it's, it's pretty sturdy. Now, taking this thing apart, this was off Amazon as well, so I'll throw a link down below. It's a bit tricky because it wants to come together. Every piece that you take off, it kind of just, you know, wants to cling back together. So you gotta hold these. Once you get these main pieces off, you would think it's harder to put together, but it's actually, <laughs> that's the easy part. There we go. Once you have it all torn apart, it's got a little strap here. There's that. I think that's pretty cool. Sleeping bag, the Kelty Tuck 20. This came highly recommended by one of my friends, Rebecca, and Dewey from Dewey Rides said he got a nice lifespan on one of these. 6597, Thermapro Ultra Synthetic Insulation. It's got extra room on the side here, that's why I got it. And it has this nice bottom where you can open it up here and pop your feet out if you're too hot. And it has this, this top right here, so you can get your head under there if it's a really cold night. So this is the Kelty Tuck 20, so it's rated to 20 Fahrenheit. They were sold out of the Zeros, but I mean, I don't think I'm even gonna be camping, moto camping in 20 degrees Fahrenheit. But this, this feels great. Can't wait to give this a try. Much better than that old Coleman. And that brings us to the Ozark Camping Tent. This thing is $29.99 at Walmart, and I highly recommend it. If you're just getting into moto camping, you're not sure if you're gonna like it or not, why spend a couple hundred bucks on a tent? We can pick this thing up, and it works great. I bought one of these back in 2021 for the Sturgis Rally. Use it for about five, six nights up there. Worked great. Use it for moto camping multiple times this year, and once again for Sturges. Now I don't have the original tent with me. The only reason I don't have it is I left it up there this year. I just bought too much crap at the rally and I have room to pack it again. And I went ahead and snagged another one. $29.99 for a tent. This is a three person dome tent. It's seven by seven base. And the reason I bought the larger one, they do have a one person available, but for some reason it's a bit longer than, than this one right here. The, the rods are a bit longer, which wouldn't have it sit flush in this pannier right here. If you want to see a video of me using this tent, I have a solo moto camping video that I will throw a link to in the description box below. It gives you a good idea of how large it is, how to set it up. It's fairly simple, just a standard dome tent. Definitely recommend this, $29.99, worth a shot, right? Pick it up at walmart.com or at any of the stores. All right, well that's it. That's your basic moto camping setup that I found for under $200. The total cost of everything that I showed you here was $194.70. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see all this stuff in action this next 2023 riding season. I'll catch you in the next one.